Hey guys, it's Lori here. I am so glad that you're joining me today. I am really excited to bring you a video with some new goodies from the Greetery. Let me show you all the things I have in this stack right quick. This is the Cozy Cup Coaster from a previous release. This is the new Shiplap Builder die set. These are amazing dies. There's six little boards um, in the set and it has the wood grain and cuts out the holes. Makes it super easy to cut out lots of shiplap at once. This is Bittersweet Bouquet, also a new um, stamp set, and this one is picturesque. I, I think I'm going to say that wrong every time, but this is a gorgeous new picture from the Greetery, and I'm just going to show you how I made this super quick card using all of these supplies. Um, here I also just have a an A2 size card and a card front um, to do some stamping on. So first we are going to build the shiplap background. I did uh, three passes with white cardstock, um, and I have this perfect stack here of little shiplap planks. I'm using my tool in one to poke out several layers of the little um, hole, and the, there's four holes in each, and I'm poking those all out together. It makes it go much quicker to just stack them up and stick that poker tool through those corners and get those holes removed. I'm going to add ATG to the front of my card and I've added it in a grid that way everything's covered and the uh, shiplap will stick down nice and tight and from here I'm just kind of going in a random pattern uneven just making sure that um, each of the boards is kind of staggered like you know like a shiplap, shiplap wall would look so I'm going all the way to the bottom and I'm leaving some of these open just because I want to cut these chunks off and I'm going to use those chunks that I cut off. So no scraps really. I'll just add in those little pieces and then again cut those off and you can see I have like, it's just, I love these. It's the most perfect ship lap card front. Oh, I had to add a little bit more ATG right there. I went ahead and cut out the Cozy Coaster out of craft cardstock, and I'm going to add this to the bottom just so when we add the picture here in just a little bit, it's kind of grounded. It's not just floating on that shiplap wall. So just at an angle with some dot roller adhesive here on the bottom, and then I'll go ahead and cut off the other side of that coaster. And I am going to save that because I might make a second card and... Um, save a little chunk of that die cut there. So next we are going to stamp the new pitcher. There is, uh, it's a three step, just kind of like the bottled up and the just mason around. Um, also the new water can, all these um, kind of have that same layered feel for a, a 3D look. I have two different inks. We're going to use Altenew's Mountain Mist and Volcano Lake to create this three layer image. So first I've got the solid image and if your stamps are brand new don't forget to really just rub your hand all over that solid image and just kind of um, get that stamp ready for ink. I've got this down uh, in the corner of this cardstock in my Misty so I can stamp two of these. One, um, it's nice to have an extra one, and two, it's nice to just make sure that the first one doesn't mess up so you've got a second one going. So we're adding a layer of Mountain Mist to the first, first image here and pressing down, and then I'm just going to flip my cardstock, and then we'll add in the second image also with Mountain Mist. I have been known to stamp crooked, so I always like a backup image. But again, I also like to have stamped out images that I save in my stamp packet for later. So now I've got the second. This one um, lines up super easy. Just slide it around until you can see the edges all line up. And this time I'm going to use Mountain Mist again. And I'm going to add two layers of Mountain Mist. I want the picture to be that aqua color but not too dark. So by adding in two layers of Mountain Mist, it just kind of kind of hold that light color uh, versus getting a third layer of really dark dark aqua. So two stamps on each picture will finish off the second layer and still we're using just one color of ink. 
which is also a benefit if you don't have lots of inks at home then this just gives you another option just to layer up your inks to add in a little bit of a darker color so now we'll go in and add the last layer which is just kind of those little shadows it's the darker ink we're going to use volcano lake from Altenew for this and again super easy to line up and I'm also going to do two layers of this just because I think the first layer when I stamped it it wasn't super crisp so I wanted to make sure that we had really good coverage And again, I'll just turn this cardstock and we'll add in two more layers. Now, the picture esque stamp set comes with several sentiments much love, live with abundance, live life, and seek beauty in all things. And they stamp perfectly on your card front, but they also look really good just directly on the picture. So, I'm going to use seek beauty in all things. I'm going to add that to the front of the picture, just one of them, because I'm going to keep the other one blank, and um, stamp that on with some black, uh, black ink. Excuse my hat. <laughs> All right, so I'm picking that up with the Misty, adding in some obsidian black ink. This is my favorite for sentiments. And then we're going to add that right to the picture. These definitely could be uh, layered up with sentiment strips or other sentiments, but this one I think works great just right there on the picture. Because I keep my dies all connected, I, I know I'm the weird one, I don't cut my dies apart. I always cut the images apart, and that way I can cut out each image separately. I'm going to add some purple tape. And then I'll run that through my die cut machine. Now that I have that cut out, we're going to add it to the front to the front of the card. Um, I've already stamped out this gorgeous branch leafy image from Bittersweet Bouquet. It is perfect for fall, although this works really well for Christmas. Stop by the Instagram Live tomorrow over at the Greetery, and I'll show you a really fun way to make that Christmassy. So I've already added some uh, foam tape squares on the back of both. We're going to adhere those together just by sliding that in place right there and then we're just going to add that to the card front with the foam tape. So it gives it a little bit of dimension and stands off the card. So that is it. That is a super simple card using again uh, pi picturesque the new stamp set from the Greetery, also the Shiplap Builder and the Bittersweet Bouquet all new coming Friday uh, from the Greetery. I hope that you've enjoyed my quick video. Everything you see here will be linked below in the description. Take a second to like and subscribe and come back and hang out with me soon. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.